Hey, this is Marie, World Peace Knits, episode 71. So today I have lots of knitting projects. I have, oh my gosh, I took a deep dive down another hobby. Um, I do like to journal. So I've been journaling for several years, but I wanted to try my hand at making my own journal. So at the very end of this, I'll show you what happened with that. So I made a couple of journals and I'll share them with you. All right, let's get started. The first thing that I have is this shawl that I've been wearing. I just wanted to show it to you. I love it. It is, it's a big crochet granny triangle and I made it with all different scraps of sock yarn from all different pairs of socks that I made. I had leftovers and I decided to crochet this like granny shawl and I've just been wearing it a lot lately. I love it. I have a fall colored one as well. I think I have another one um, in my stash of shawls as well, but I love it. So I've been wearing it like all the time just because it's so, it's so bright and cheerful and I just love the weight of it. It's like a nice kind of a lightweight and it doesn't get too hot, but you can just really snuggle up in it. All right, so the next thing that I have, so that's just what I'm wearing. Um, the next thing that I have is the first project that I finished since I spoke with you last. And it's a Friend to Friend by Leslie Friend. It's a shrug. And I really love how it turned out. It is made with bulky weight yarn. Uh, three skeins of bulky weight yarn. I used the size six on the pattern and I had this much left over. So I had about one third of a skein left over and it's in the colorway agave. So I'll go ahead and try this on for you. The thing that I really like about this is that it's, it has shaping like around the shoulders. It's super cozy and it was really quick to make. So I love it. It's so nice and warm and cozy. I'm definitely making more. Actually, I have another one on the needles that I'll share with you in just a little bit. And I love it. It's so cute. I definitely love the pattern. It was super easy to make. And so it's the Friend to Friend by Leslie Friend. You should definitely try it out. And I use the Hue and Me yarn in the agave colorway. So the next thing that I have, I'll just leave this on for now. The next thing that I have is a pair of fingerless mitts. So I made, so the, I'm just gonna do my projects in chronological order. Um, I made a gift for my big boss um, and my friend Jaina and I both knit on it to give to him. I'm gonna go ahead and show you a photo of what the project looks like because we gave it at Christmas and um, I don't have it. I don't have it here with me any longer. But it's a pair of fingerless mitts that I made in Lorna's laces in the Paris colorway, twelve sixteen. So I'm going to go ahead and put it right here at the bottom and the top of the mitt. I used West Yorkshire spinners, color two forty. I cast on sixty four stitches and then. I actually, I used a pattern that I have a um, tutorial on, like how I knit my fingerless mitts. And I'll go ahead and I'll put that tutorial, I'll link it up above. It'll be in like a little bar and then you can make your own pair if you'd like. All right, so the next thing that I have is a pair of fingerless mitts. I made, this is a fingerless mitts heavy episode. I made a lot of pairs of fingerless mitts, but I have other things too, so. Okay, so the next thing that I have, is this yarn that I use. This It's called Ferner Molly Sock Yarn. When you get sock weight yarn, sometimes it's thicker and sometimes it's thinner. So this is kind of a thicker one. And I went ahead and used my favorite uh, fingerless mitt um, tutorial pattern and I put thumbs on it this time. So all I did was in place of when I do the thumb holes, I put waist yarn and then I picked up and then I just did a little ribbed thumb, you know, 
in there where the with the waste yarn so and if you want a tutorial on that let me know but it's super easy and then I just did ribbing instead of doing the thumb holes so I love how they turned out it's like super crazy you know holiday yarn so all right so the next thing that I have is okay yes okay so I did the freckled whimsy advent and I made a pair of fingerless mitts with it and it's in the splendid base it is 85 um, superwash merino and 15% nylon so this is how they turned out oh my gosh they're so pretty and then I also got this little mini skein with it so this is what I had left and this is how it turned out I went ahead and just did like a small bit of the mini skein on either end and then I did the stripes and I made them match so I love how they turned out they're super cute so I kind of based them on my favorite pair that I love wearing I have this one pair of it's called fairy lights and it's the exact length this is like my this is my very favorite length of fingerless mitt and this one doesn't have thumb holes in it but I based them on this one pair that I wear all the time without thumb holes so I could just pull them down and just be all cozy when I'm driving or whatever working and I get cold I love how they turned out they're so cute so I'm definitely gonna wear this pair a lot because I really love them that's how they turned out oh my gosh look at those colors I just think that freckled whimsy does such a great job with the self-striping sock yarn that they make so okay so the next thing that I have and those I just did the straight tubes on okay the next thing that I have is another project let's see western sky knits let me see oh it's this one okay I've had this yarn in my stash for a really long time I really love it it's like it's like rainbow and chocolatey colored it's so cool I think that um, before in the past I tried to make something with it and then I let it go and then I rewound it but it's in the Aspen sock yarn it is 80% um, superwash 20% nylon and this is it Western Sky Knits the colorway is chocolate rainbow so I used the chocolate rainbow and then I used knit picks stroll tweed to make a pair of fingerless mitts because I thought that would be super cool together because this can be a lot if you just knit a pair of fingerless mitts with just this and so I thought I'm gonna just put a big fat stripe of it in there and that would be super cool so this is how it turned out so it's like tweedy and stripey and just perfect I love it so here we go so I put just the big fat stripe of the chocolate rainbow down here I put a stripe in the the cuff part of the mitt as well and then I put a thumb hole so I love how it turned out and I feel like these could be you know they could be longer you could make a really long pair of these but I like the length this length um, sometimes when you already have like something big and bulky like a, a sweater or jacket on it's nice to have like a shorter pair so these turned out so cute I really love them and I love the fact that I didn't use too much of this to make it just a crazy mitt you know <laughs> All right, so the next thing that I have, okay, I made another pair of fingerless mitts. <laughs> oh my gosh. That is one, two, three, four pairs if you're counting. So this pair, I just used some scraps and they're from a homespun house. There's the label. And then this is in the amethyst colorway. 
And then I had this other scrap. Now I'm not, I, I don't know the name of the other scrap, but I made a pair of socks with it in the past. So I just had like these two little balls of it. And I thought, well, I'm gonna make it just a pair of shorty fingerless mitts with it, just so I have a, an extra like gift or something like that to give out. But this is what I had left after I made these, the shorty pair. And this is how they look. I put two little bows on them. I pictured them being like just a cute little pair of fingerless mitts that you throw on. And I put little bows on it. I, I thought about doing an eye cord, you know, with, with the purple. But I had some purple ribbon and I thought, well, I'll just use this. So that's what I did. And all I did was went around like a knit stitch and tied it on. So it was perfect. And I used two different kinds of ribbons together. So let me put the other one on and show it to you. I made like a kind of a shorter cuff. And then I made like a really long ribbed part at the top. And I love how they turned out. They're so cute. Oh my gosh, someone's going to love these. So anyway, these are going to go in my gift basket for the next time I need a little gift. But they're so cute. I love them. And I love the bows. Because recently I've been seeing some bows on knitwear. So, okay, so the next thing that I have, okay, the next thing that I have is a Sophie scarf. So this I just made with some scraps. Now I had scraps of homespun house in a plump merino sock set and it was called footloose and this is the uh, homespun house this is the label and then it was footloose I don't know if you can even read that but these are the yarns that I had left so I had made another project earlier I don't remember if I made a pair of socks or fingerless mitts with this but this is what I had left and then I held these together with a size six needle and you could do any length um, but I used just the size six needle of circulars and I made a Sophie scarf and so the the awesome thing about this is you can take this let me take this friend to friend off but you can take this and you can put it on a bag you can tie it on a bag or you can tie it around your neck like and just wear it as like a little scarf if you want to just like this or you can tie it on like your basket like I just happen to have this is my project basket you can tie it on your project basket or your purse or whatever I tote baskets around all the time so so you could just tie it on there. It's just like a little fun. <laughs> or you can just leave it long like this, you know, just as a, like a pop of color on something. But I love these little Sophie scarves. So I had this one in my basket. I was working on it, um, you know, holding two strands together just whenever I had time and I finished it up. So I love it. It's so cute. It's the Sophie Scarf by Petite Knits. So anyway, the next thing that I have is some works in progress. So I have a couple of things that I didn't quite get finished, but I wanted to share with you so you could check out my progress on them. So I made, um, I cast on these. Now this one, I used this West Yorkshire Spinner Sparkle Yarn. And it was in the Nutcracker colorway. This is what it looks like. There, and I cast on a pair of socks in the Nutcracker colorway. I love this colorway. I love how it turned out. It's so cute. I love the sparkle in it. I'm not sure if you can see the sparkle, but it is... It's a beautiful colorway. It's a, like a holiday colorway, but it kind of seems just like a, a fall colorway too. So, and then the next thing that I have is one more pair of socks that I cast on and I use this Regia. And this one is color number 09408. Now this one is a self-striping 
and it doesn't look like much in the ball, but when you knit it up, oh my gosh, it's so cool. Like, look at those stripes. That's super cool. So I started on these, just didn't get them finished, but it's a pair of socks and I love them. Okay, the next thing that I have, oh my gosh, so you know how I, I did that a friend to friend shrug? I started on another friend to friend shrug. So let me see, get this one out. So I just wanted to show you, I've been working on it, but then, you know, like a, you know, squirrel moment, you start on another thing and start on another thing. <laughs> so yes, this one's super nice. I thought this one is in a color that I could wear with lots of different things. So, and this one is in Hue and Me. And then this colorway is Desert. So of course I got three skeins of this. I have used one skein. I'm on my second skein. And this is how far along I am. So I do love it. It's on size 11 needles. It's working up really quickly. I just need to work on it, right? <laughs> but I love it. It's so, it's such a fun, chunky, like knit to work on. You definitely have to try that pattern. All right, so the next thing that I have, okay, so this is, this is where if you don't want to hear about any journals, I'll say goodbye. I'll catch you next time with all my knitting and crochet projects that, that I have for you the next time. But if you want to stick around for a bit longer, I'm going to share with you um, some journals. So, so what I did was I somehow got, you know, um, sucked into a couple of YouTube channels that I really was like watching and curious about making my own journal. Like I've been journaling. So basically I've been journaling with these journals. Just, it's kind of like a blank journal that I get from Planner Perfect every time. And I just work on, this is my January version of it, but I kind of just work on that. Like when I get it, I do kind of like art projects and I do stickers and different things in it, washi tape. And I just kind of like to, you know, remember like how things were on that particular day. But I've been doing these journals for a long time. I have like a whole row of them up here and I love them. Like, I, you know, I do drawings, this kind of thing. <laughs> so anyway, so I, I've been doing that for like a really long time and, you know, a couple of years. And I decided that, you know what, I'd like to learn how to make my own journals. I thought that would be super cool. And I'm going to go ahead and show you my first journal that I did. I'm not going to go deep dive into like every page of it, but this is my first journal that I made. And so this first journal, I used a stevia box and then I covered it with paper and it kind of followed along on some t different tutorials. I don't remember which tutorial I used for this one. Most of the tutorials, they wrap the paper all the way around the box, but this particular one, I did not do that. I just cut it flush with the edge of the box. And I do like how it turned out. It's really cute. And, and then you basically, after you cover the box, then you make these things called signatures, which are little sets of papers that you put in the journal and you stitch them in. There's my stitching on the side with a needle and some waxed twine. It's a whole process. I love how it turned out. I have like another channel that I haven't been doing anything with. It's just been a blank channel that I have. And I decided that I'm going to go ahead and do flip throughs on these journals. If you'd like to see them, I'm going to go ahead and write the name of my channel down below. And then you can go over there and see these journals, like a flip through. If you want to see every page and how I made it, and I'll go into more detail about it. But basically they're just like little homemade 
you know, journals. And now some people will call them like junk journals and then some people maybe art journals, but I just thought it would be super cool to learn how to make your own. So this is the first one that I made. It's kind of a little dinky one. And then I made this one as a gift. So I made this one for a girl that I know named Sophie. And this one, I used a box. Um, I used this box. So I used a Bobo box, which is like a snack that we have here in Colorado. It's like locally made. And I used this box. And then I went ahead and covered it with fabric. And I made this journal for her. So I'm hoping that she likes it. She's like a newer kind of family member of ours. So anyway, and then I made this little tassel. And again, I'll put a flip through of this on my other channel, which I'll, um, I'll put the name of it down below, but it's just World Peace Journals. And you can go check it out. I'm not sure when that will be up, but I just thought it would be kind of fun. I, I like to journal a lot and I thought, well, I don't want to crowd this channel with journaling, you know, stuff. I just want to just put it on a separate area in case you want to see it. So anyway, so this is my other journal. I love how this one turned out. It's so cute and it's all fabric and it has like a little, you know, pocket on the front and a pocket on the back because I put this lace on it and then a little tie that you can keep it closed with. But I'll go ahead and put a, a flip through of this journal on that channel. So I hope that it was okay <laughs> that I went ahead and shared with you um, the journal part of this. But I thought, you know what? Maybe you'd be interested in it too. All right, I'll see you next time. Thanks, bye.